February is National Cancer Prevention Month, and to learn just how important the Victory Center is to those with cancer as well as their families, our Laura Sandlin stopped by to learn more. So if somebody's diagnosed with cancer, one of the best things for them to do um, after they have you know, gotten their diagnosis and they kind of know what their treatment plan is with their physician, it's to give the Victory Center a call, and we take it from there. Diane Brandt is the executive director of the Victory Center. Here, she works with individuals to help them find relief during their time of need. She says everyone knows someone who has been impacted by cancer or is a survivor themselves. For free, um, any survivor can come and they can meet with one of the counselors or even one of their family members. So if the spouse or the um, you know, parent or child is having a hard time. From massage therapy to counseling sessions, the Victory Center acts as a major benefit to the area. This is Lori at the main. Lori Naus is a survivor and volunteer administrative assistant. She says she enjoys helping others. Letting people know when they come in the door and they're very tearful. Um, they're just, they don't know what to do, they don't know what to think, they don't know, you know, how to even uh, navigate things and being able to reassure them. Lori says the Victory Center has made a huge difference in not only her life, but the lives of others. It helps them when they're going through things. Maybe their body's aching from treatments or, you know, sometimes you need to talk to people about what's going on and, and not try to Try to deal with it all yourself. The biggest piece of advice she's received to help prevent her cancer from returning? You want to try to eat healthy. Had I known, in, had many of us known in hindsight what we know now, we could have been doing a lot more. Besides a clean diet, Lori says being positive has made a big change along with her support group. She says she looks forward to being able to continue to help others. Reporting in Toledo for WTOL 11, I'm Laura Sandlin.